Do you have a preference of which one to drive so far? Yeah, I've been driving the, the manual mostly. Uh, okay. The stick, so I just got out of it. Uh, but the automatics are nice because they're a little easier to drive. But sure. The manual has some features that the automatics don't. Uh, so it's a six-speed manual, but it has a, a crawl uh, yeah. mode in it. So it's great for those little times you want that low range, but you don't want to have to sit there and take the time to, to switch over into low. Right. I like the sights a lot. Trail sights. So. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we'll go ahead and pop into Baja mode. Great. Does this one have the Sasquatch or no? Uh, no, this okay. is the 33s. switched in the Baja and went to the forward view camera. Oh, cool. And then, in, you know, within this thing, there's a different views you can do. So, like, this view here is great when we're up in the rocks. Oh, that's great. So you can really see around you. Sure. And you can even get into where you're seeing, uh, you know, more of a oh, detailed sure. front view. And this is, like, your front tire. Oh, that's cool. Just focused. So when you're really going through some rocks, you want to make sure you're getting around. Oh, there's a ledge or something. That's great. Yeah. Can you do the rear camera while you're driving? Uh, I don't think so. Is that what that is? No. Oh, cool. It's pretty fun. Just a little bit ahead of us, sure. the dust. This is a fun gig, huh? Yeah, not <laughs> a bad way to spend a, day, spend a week, actually. All right, so we're bomb mode, four high. Sway bar is connected, lockers are unlocked. Mm -hmm. So you can tell it's already raised the shift points of the transmission. So it's always, the power is always right there? Yep. Okay. Keeping us in that boost. You know, also, you know, also keeps you in that gear, which you have that engine braking as you need it. Right. So here we're doing 50 miles an hour and just smooth this smooth. Medium and stuff. Real smooth. How's it feel? How's it feel for you? Does it feel tight? No, effortless. Right. It's not fighting you. You're not having to, to, to work it. So it's just like in a race car down in Baja, you know, just uh, just put them where you want them and it goes. Good fun. I mean, we could go. We could actually go a lot faster down this and these things. Do it. Do whatever you're allowed to do. We're gonna start beating the beating the snot out of the passenger. Yeah, I'll take it. Special valving in the shocks, uh, you know, the force developed when they get up towards their ex the limit uh, of their extension. This additional valving that kicks in, that mm -hmm. it gives you even more rebound control. It slows that shock down so that you're not getting that hard bottom out or top out. It's pretty impressive. Is this pretty production? This one? This is a pre-production, but it's it's got all the features. Uh, got it. Okay. There's nothing. There's nothing on here that you can't get. Do you have any complaints about this so far? Anything that? No, not really. So let's try this this trailer trail turn assist. Oh, cool. Yeah. So that's what you can do with tight turns. Yeah. Gauge here. 
So feel it engage. Yeah, it's I basically did. locking that inside tire. Wow. And look how tight this thing will turn. That's incredible. That nuts? That's incredible. That's unbelievable. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's that's pretty shocking. Wow. That's all that's what we've been doing out here is doing that's, that. It just, I mean, it just pivots the that's, thing. That's, that's really, really, really cool. Get around trees or whatever. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you can use it for that. Beat these things, huh? Yeah, they're, they're impressive. Yeah. For a production vehicle, I mean, yeah, I mean, you're 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 used to, you're used to the uh, the real machines. I mean, this is deep, soft sand. Yep, you can feel it. Cool. So, one of the cool features on this is it's called uh, one pedal oh right sure um, so basically it's like left foot braking mm -hmm. um, so it's doing it for you so it basically holds the brakes on until you push on the gas okay and as soon as you let off the gas it puts the brakes back on again so you can actually control uh, the descent by giving it a little bit of gas and just kind of driving through the brake and then take your foot off and, and it just it stops just it back on so it's so you can so focus on like rock doing. crawling when you're cresting over a big rock Right. As you ease the gas off, it starts to put the brake on. Wow. That's insane. Very intimidating looking. It's great. So now, now I'm in descent control. Okay. So now I've basically set the speed at two miles an hour. So I'll just keep it I'm there. I'm off the pedals. Oh wow! Don't do anything but steer. Wow. Is that is that in all trims or certain modes or what is that? It's, it's been in all. It's in all of these. Yeah. Okay. I believe it's. I think it's a standard offering. I mean, this is a pretty gnarly downhill right here. Yeah, yeah. And this thing just just handles it with ease. Very impressive. And if you know, so you can you can speed up and slow down based okay. on your oh, cruise set, control set settings. It on the wheel. Or you can just you know push on the the, the, the gas pedal, mm -hmm. and it'll it, it'll it'll drive through it. Wow. It's doing all this with just the 33s. Mm -hmm. Very impressive machines. sand mode. What mode was that in just then? That was in uh, 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 oh. trail descent. It's oh. a hill descent mode. Okay. And how did you get to that setting? You're just by pushing this center button here. Okay. So you push it one time, it puts you into one pedal mode. Okay. All right. So I'll show you. Oh, that's with the middle center button. Yeah. Got it. So you push it one time and it says a trail, one pedal is active. Okay. So now it's basically on your throttle. Now, if you want to use trail mode, then you just hit your hit your trail control. Got it. And then start bumping your speed up. Wow.
It's a lot different than the 79 Bronco I had. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it came just a little ways. Yep. Just a little ways. So here we'll do a little we'll do a little hill climb. So okay. we'll put it in neutral. I'm gonna go into rock crawl mode. Okay. So it's in four low now. Turn our camera back on for us. And put it back in drive, so we can see that our that our trail control is still active mm -hmm. at zero. And the sway bar is connected now, right? Sway bar is disconnected oh, now okay, in rock crawl mode. Oh, yep. So it comes off automatically in rock crawl. Yep. So so it's basically low speed cruise control. <laughs> wow. Take a nap. Yeah, I mean, it just drives for you. That's really impressive. And again, if you, you know, if you, if you need more, just, just give it some gas. And, and it, stays, it. it stays where you leave it? No, it'll, okay. it'll it's still set at it four. It's just Got like it. your cruise oh, I control. See. I see. Just goes up it like nobody's business. It's, it's really Doesn't really fight, isn't sliding back and forth, spinning and fighting it. Smooth. It's smooth. So now we'll switch. And this is the 2.7. Yes, one, yeah. I'm gonna switch back into Baja mode. Okay. It's gonna take us out of four low. It's gonna take our lockers back off. Put our sway bar back up. Uh -huh. Got our front view camera on. But you can see our trail descent is still active. Uh -huh. So it's automatically, when you slow down to that speed, it automatically just takes back over. Wow. You don't have to think about it. You, you don't have to switch back and forth between modes. Just focus on where you're going. Turn that on one time, and you know, when you get to what you, where you need it, you, you use it. Very impressive. These guys went down here to turn around. They get scared. <laughs> I feel like we're not turning around. No. Yeah. <laughs> so this is when the camera views on and you can see. We started getting into some gnarly. Wow. You know, so like, you know, like I said, of being able to activate so we're we're basically teetering on two or three wheels being so able to do these you can put that right on and drop it right down and just wow is that just an alert for your uh, it's just an angle yeah yep. an angle alert the uh, great thing about so when you disconnect the sway bar uh, manually like that it will automatically reconnect once you hit 20, 20 right yeah so again, you don't have to think about it. Yep, and then it'll automatically disconnect again when you go below 20. It will. So you don't have to keep hitting it. That I didn't know. Yeah, okay. once, you, once you manually disable it, it'll come on and off on its own until you cancel it. Wow, okay. I mean, 
I think they have, they have thought of everything. Well, they've had time. <laughs> yeah, but you know that you know that all of those features cost time and money, and Absolutely. it's a commitment they have to make. Of course, of course. Because, you know, the, the, the bean counters are probably like, no, it, it, you can't give them all those options. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. Pick five and, and go with that. I think they're seeing now they made the right decision. Yeah. They seemed to listen to what people wanted. Yeah. Going up that? Sure. Wow. Doesn't even struggle. Didn't even spin a single tire. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Yeah, well, hopefully this, this solidifies <laughs> that you've made the right decision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for good. It's comfortable too to sit in. No, yeah, but you it's get cozy. You can turn your heat seaters on. Mm -hmm. and... Yeah, see that them even with you know a little extra tire. Yep. They didn't even think about going right, right down that. Right. It's impressive. In Baja now? Yep. So you'll see our sway bar come on and off as we as we go over the last goal. So we'll speed up. Switch on. Yeah. So now it's hooked back up for the high speed stability. Do you feel it when it kicks in? No, not really. It's um Four shots it's pretty off, smooth. Please. in a bone stock vehicle. No, absolutely not. And it destroys you by now. Yep. You know, a 4x4 pickup truck would have rattled off the road, you know. Oh, rrr, absolutely. It chattered the back end off and into the ditch. It's, a, it's very impressive. the Baja mode in this compared to the uh, the Raptor? This, to me, this feels more stable. Really? Okay. Now, I know, you know, they're probably going to come out with a uh, next generation Raptor. Yep. That'll have all these features and probably then some because, you know, that has to be, uh, sure. you know, a little higher level, perhaps, of off-road capability. Mm -hmm. But over the current Raptor models, I'd take this. Wow. That's saying something. But it's a you know it's a perfect vehicle that if because this can be your daily driver. It's gonna be you've for got me. a yeah. you've got a you know a more than capable, so you don't have to have that. Well, I got a Jeep that's, you know, and I've got to take five years of adding all these aftermarket parts to be able to do what I needed to and do. And then, to go. and then I, you know, it's not practical to drive to work or to take it cross country or go see the in-laws. Mm -hmm. Whereas this does everything. Oh, I'm excited. You can stay overnight. You're driving cross country and all of a sudden, you know what, I feel like going on. It's a pretty cool yep. spot. Quick. Let's that, go. That's the plan with the wife. That's the, one of the big, the big things we're having. we got planned is to... A lot of road trips. Yeah, and this is this ride's good enough that it's not going to beat her to death. Where she's like at the end of the day going, ah, mm -hmm. no more. Right? It's not fun. Mm -hmm. 